Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we're carrying on with the Ham International Jumbo and its modifications and we're going to be looking at the band switch and how we can change that from its stock three-way band switch to something else hopefully a six-way so let's get started so here's the original band switch in the radio now for you people that know the jumbos we've got the crystals switched on one side we've got the trimmers switched on the other side and then we've got the lights and the 421 to 80 display but the 421 to 80 display has already been disabled so all we need to do now is find out which side is our crystals and which side is our common so we've got that worked out so the white wire with the black stripe that's actually the input feed to Q4 and the other ones are the crystals and then we've taken off the trimmers as well which is the other little nest of wires now we just need to work out which wires these are now there's only three wires left connected there's two grounds and one other wire and that other wire is for the high light so we're going to be keeping that and there's the band switch removed now we're going to be converting the band switch into a a voltage controlled band switch which will be needed later on so I've decided to make a relay board which will simulate the band switch but be controlled with voltage so I know there's four positions on this board but I only need two and we're going to supply it with a nice 12 volt regulator so this is a 12 volt low dropout regulator and we've connected that to the screw that holds the Roger Beep unit in and I've changed it to a plastic screw and put the necessary uh, plastics in place to isolate it and there's our 12 volts coming from the regulator now this is the band switch I had planned but I, w I saw that the shaft was too short so we're going to have to modify the one that was originally in it so in a vice on the bench we'll carefully file down the rivets that are on the back of the band switch and we'll to carefully prise up the back plate we'll save that for later now we'll just need to trim these rivets down a little bit more but without flattening them so I'm just using my cutters just to remove the little bits of excess metal a bit fiddly and then we carefully prise up the actual part of the band select now you can see a disc in there that's what we're going to be working on now don't do what I did and let that ping away and lose the inside contacts but luckily we only need two of them so for a start we're going to clean it so we'll put some switch cleaner on a cotton bud we'll give it a good clean and then we're just going to put a little bit of WD-40 in there just to lubricate it So the trick for this modification is we need to get rid of these two lugs. So we can gently file those away. And then being very, very careful, we can prise up the disc. I was saying be gentle because there's two springs and two ball bearings behind this that give you the nice click that selects 
each one of the bands. So we're going to lift that plate off very carefully and we're going to take away the ball bearings and the springs for the moment and put them somewhere safe so we don't lose them. Now the trick to this modification, you'll see the gaps on either side of that disc and there's the end stop. So in its original configuration, it's allowed for three bands but if you actually turn the disc round and put it in that larger gap it gives you a five way but we don't want a five way we want a six way so all that means is we need to file down one of the end stops on the disc so we want to file away this and basically simulate another position on the switch now the actual switch is a four pole and three way so essentially we're going to turn it into a two pole and a six way so with a little bit of filing we've managed to get that done and we've reassembled it Just take a little bit of trial and error just to get the last click in place but with the help of the vice and a small file it's easily done and there's our band select back in the radio with the highlight reconnected in the high band position and a new ground fitted now We've actually inserted a couple of plastic standoffs to hold this relay board. So we're connected up the trimmers and we're connected up the bands. So basically we're simulating the band switch now as it was, but with relays. Now this, this radio only had two crystals in it to start off with. Some nice person had removed the third crystal. So that's why we've only got two relays in if we had the third crystal we could insert another relay for that one so that's the band switch modified for a six way anyway hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video